Well, hello everybody. Today I went to the recycling center because we had stuff to bring there. And I went into the container that contains electronics and uh, I found a VCR. So uh, I brought it back. It's uh, this one here. So it's a RCA Hi-Fi Stereo VCR made by Itachi. So we, uh, on the inside it's all built by Itachi and uh, this is pretty special because it's actually a two-head stereo VCR so usually when you have hi-fi it's a uh, four video heads but this one two-head hi-fi so two video heads and uh, there are two uh, extra heads on the drum for the hi-fi audio so this is a uh, kind of interesting and it's quite unusual and so I brought it at home and uh, I tested it and when I first uh, pushed the tape in it did not go in but uh, the VCR powered on so uh, often these uh, vintage VCRs sometimes these Itachi uh, they would uh, have power supply problems like they would uh, no longer power on uh, I've had two VCRs with this mechanism that uh, did not power on so uh, one I uh, found it on the on the street and uh, this one uh, I got it from the recycling center and it does power on so uh, that is pretty good so uh, like I was saying uh, the, the tape did not go in so I immediately knew uh, what the problem was uh, I opened the bottom cover and uh, I saw the capstan belt, the belt that goes from the capstan to the pulley. Uh, it was turned into goo. So uh, for people who collect VCRs uh, and who are interested in this stuff, like the people from the VCR community, you know what it means, a belt that turns into goo. So it kind of uh, literally melts, it turns into goo. So it does not melt uh, because of the heat, but uh, because of it uh, getting old. I'm not sure what causes it. But uh, it's it was a uh, it does uh, it makes a mess in the VCR mechanism and you have to clean it. This is what I did. So it did a mess and I cleaned it, and uh, it wasn't uh, very easy. But uh, I I got it cleaned uh, the best I could, and I replaced the belt, and uh, now it's working great. So uh, that is pretty cool. It's now fully functional. It was just a belt. Oh, I'm gonna turn it on now. So you've got uh, like a decibel meter, audio meter. Right now it's, uh, you can see it's activating because it's uh, on the channel, the TV channel. And uh, there is nothing, there is no TV cable uh, plugged uh, on the VCR, so it's just uh, displaying uh, like the, the snow basically so it's got noise and uh, so uh, if I put it on the AV input line now uh, the noise disappears so uh, you know when you have a vintage VCR and you put it on the channel it displays snow on the TV and you got noise so this is what causes, causes uh, that and you have here uh, this uh, kind of uh, slider switch so uh, I have not really used it but uh, I think this is for recording so uh, to set the amount of uh, the level of sound basically for uh, each of the two uh, each of the each of the two tracks on the on the tape, so left and right. So uh, I think like this, for example, you will re record the right audio track, but nothing on the left. And you can do in between like this, adjust the level. So uh, quite interesting. Well, this is what I guess. I have not really used it, nor did I look it up. But it might be like uh, here on this uh, Emerson stereo radio. 
balance only here it's not a it's not for recording it's uh, for the the speakers the uh, speaker output And uh, here you have a pretty nice VFD display, which is uh, still uh, bright. And uh, so the RCA fashioned uh, VFD display, like a orange color like this, pretty cool. And uh, the RCA uh, back in the day they did that in uh, like really a lot of their VCRs. So a lot of RCA VCRs that I've seen from this uh, time period and uh, well from the 80s and 90s they will have a VFD display that uh, is this color and looks uh, like this and it's actually a uh, orange filter that's inside this and the VFD display itself is actually a uh, kind of a uh, light blue color and there is a filter so here something I like so you have a uh, input select button and tape speed on the front you have SP, LP and SLP so you have a counter memory so if you activate this when you re rewind or fast forward the tape it will uh, automatically stop on uh, zero, 00 so a lot of 80s VCRs had a button uh, like this one on the front you have counter reset to reset the counter a lot of 80s VCR had that too and uh, pretty much all VCRs I think uh, have this button uh, on the remote and uh, this one uses a 4 digit counter not a real time counter and you have the clock here uh, next to it and I have not set it uh, so you have manual tracking here in this knob And you have a phone plug, so if you want to plug uh, earphones on the VCR and uh, the volume here, probably. And uh, the main tip, the main tip controls, they are here, and they actually light up. So stop and pause, light on. So uh, pretty strange that the stop and pause button are the ones that uh, that light up, and not the play and fast forward and rewind. Should have been the opposite to that kind of does not make sense but uh, it's like this it says it uh, here on the front door stereo hi-fi and H2 video cassette recorder high quality it's like a new standard that was introduced in the 80s don't know what what it especially uh, brings this uh, this uh, specification like I don't know if it really made a difference but uh, many VCRs uh, advertise uh, HQ on the front even some of the newer ones like this RCA here and uh, many of them back here it says it here so many VCRs so here on the back side you have connectors that you don't usually have so uh, here so in addition to uh, the AV input and output you have this so uh, a special connector it says a CATV adapter so I don't know what this is for uh, if you know it, uh, tell me in the comments. So uh, you have a regular TV in and out. And since this is a very old VCR, you have uh, UHF. So uh, these things with the screws. So uh, they removed this on uh, later VCRs because this this was a this was a standard that was a not used anymore in the later days and 
you have the information here which does not say the date but uh, I guess around 89 uh, 1990 this VCR so uh, model number VPT 630 HF so uh, there are a lot of VCRs not only RCA where they add the letters HF at the end of the model number when it's a high five VCR this is what it stands for you will have an unswitched uh, power outlet here and you have a well, regular AV input and output and you have system here so an extra AV output and audio too so I don't know, uh, I don't really know what it does but uh, I plugged it to the TV and uh, it outputs the same thing as this so uh, I'm not sure why it is called system and if it does something different and here control so uh, this uh, what I'm getting it is is uh, like a system control to control other VCRs and uh, that's pretty much it now uh, I will open the VCR oh, and here uh, V-lock so to adjust the still picture to uh, like the shakiness of the screen you adjust it so that it it does not shake and for some reason they put this on the back but uh, you normally don't have to adjust it uh, when it's already adjusted well now here's the VCR with the top cover off and uh, so you can see what mechanism it has so a Hitachi mechanism from the late 80s and also early 90s so uh, the loading motor is located here be below this circuit board so it's covering it in this model so there are models uh, there are uh, VCRs with uh, different VCRs with like a different construction uh, that use this mechanism so uh, some of the v some VCRs uh, the earliest one I think they have a circuit board that covers all the top and uh, sometimes uh, there are buttons mounted like uh, on the front the top of the front so they are like uh, here the buttons on those VCRs and you can uh, raise the whole thing and uh, see the mechanism and uh, service it if, if you need to and the VCR fan 2001 uh, has a VCR that is built like that and it's R a RCA too so there were a lot of RCA uh, with uh, this tape mechanism and uh, they also made other VCRs uh, with the circuit board at the same location but uh, it's not the same shape you can see the loading motor here and uh, so here the circuit board in those that I'm talking about does not cover the mechanism and uh, th this VCR has this mechanism and is built like that so this one it's uh, it was built a uh, little later than uh, this one and it's uh, more basic so you can see this is all the buttons it has on the front but this one is a uh, forehead so forehead mono this one and uh, you can see the drum here with two, vi two video heads and two hi-fi audio heads and uh, I don't know if this is a date here but if it is it says 87 11 05 so uh, 1987 will be when this VCR was uh, manufactured I thought, I thought that it was a little later but it will uh, make sense 1987 so uh, now I will insert a cassette you see it does not load it and uh, if I press play it will load it and uh, the video is uh, working very well so uh, this was me uh, two years ago at uh, the VCR King's place reviewing a, a VCR so you can see next to me the uh, toaster box 
we are store uh, different things it's here right now so I just pressed up and it unloaded the tape it will tape, it will uh, keep the tape unloaded when fast forward and rewind right now it's on fast forward now rewind so uh, tape control moving here and if I if I enable uh, counter memory you will see it will immediately it will automatically stop it's not that accurate actually Oh, okay, no, it's, it's, it's just because the tape was at the beginning, so I thought it stopped at zero, but uh, let me fast forward it a little bit. Stop, reset, and fast forward. Now if I press rewind, it will stop at zero. There, this is what it should do. So we'll counter memory. So uh, one belt replaced on the bottom side and now it's working just great. So uh, that is nice. So uh, here the power supply. So uh, like you had on the uh, 80s VCRs and early 90s. So a huge transformer on a separate board. So the later VCRs uh, you know what it looks like. So you don't have a big, a big uh, transformer like this. And uh, it's all uh, uh, it's on the same board. So and there's only one board for all the the electronics of the VCR. You got a fuse here, and uh, it's getting warm. I can feel it here. So here, STK voltage regulator. So those uh, tend to fail in the Itachi VCRs, but especially the older ones. So I don't know if uh, in those that have uh, this mechanism, I don't know if the voltage regulator will uh, fail too. But uh, in this VCR, it seems like all the electronics is working well. Except here when I play a tape, this hi-fi light does not uh, light on when I put it here on the hi-fi. So uh, I'm not sure if the hi-fi audio works on this one. Uh, from what I've uh, tested, it does not seem to uh, sound good, so uh, the hi-fi audio uh, might be uh, not working very well, but uh, that is no big deal. The video works and the audio works, if I put it here on linear audio, and uh, well, it sounds uh, well anyway. And the pinch roller is in uh, good condition too. And uh, I cleaned the heads, and uh, they were not very dirty. And uh, when I got it, and uh, saw that it was a, uh, that it did not take the tape in, I knew it was a bad belt, and I, I figured it will it will would have uh, probably turned into goo, because in the Itachi VCRs they tend to do that more than others. So for some reason different VCR manufacturers did not use the same uh, type of belt so not the same material so uh, if you find a Panasonic like uh, this Philips here which is a rebadge Panasonic uh, there are good chances that the original belts are gonna, sti build, uh, are gonna be still good uh, in it and if you find the Itachi from this era well uh, there are good chances that the belts are gonna be bad so especially when you uh, find the the earlier mechanism with the uh, five belts, so uh, they all go bad. So you're never gonna find one with the original belts that are still good. You're always gonna have to replace them. But it seems like this one you don't. I have not replaced the belts in this one, and they were all perfectly good. Although I I did uh, boil a belt in it. So uh, you can boil belts if they just don't adhere well, but uh, they are not deformed. 
you can boil them and it will fix them so of course like I said only when you uh, only when the belt is uh, not deformed still has its uh, shape so when I opened the VCR there was this little thing in it a surface mounted capacitor that detached don't know when uh, where it was but uh, the VCR still uh, seems to be working anyway so now uh, this is pretty much the end of the video and uh, I'll see you later for another video bye